Let's take a look at Scenario Manager in Excel 2016. This feature is also available in earlier versions of Excel, but we use 2016 for the uh, yeah, example today. Anyway, uh, it's part of the What If Analysis tool that you find underneath of the Data tab. And underneath What If Analysis, uh, there's Scenario Manager, Goal Seek, and Data Table. We'll go look at specifically at Scenario Manager. I've got this little sample file set up. Um, it's to calculate what your car loan payment and total cost will be. So uh, just a simple table. We have the rate, which is entered. I put in 5%. The term, which is in months. That's 60 months. It's a five-year car loan. The car's purchase price is $23,000. This is a calculation, and so it's equals PMT, so it's the payment function, and it calculates the payment that you would need to make each month. And then the total cost is the payment amount from E3 times the number of months, so it's a simple multiplication formula. But I wanted to show you how to use the Scenario Manager, because what the Scenario Manager does is it allows us to test a series of different um, options at the same time and then compare the results. So we can actually do up to 32 at a time. We'll just do three here just for an example. So I'm going to go up here to What If Analysis, click on Scenario Manager, and this little prompt comes up, and it, there are no scenarios here right now, so I'm going to add a scenario. I'm going to call it Best Case. You can really call it whatever you would like. It's asking me what cells I want to vary. Well, in this case, I would like to vary the rate and the term. So I'm going to put in B, and I'm going to anchor that so it doesn't move around. B3 and C3. There we go. And just click OK. And now it's going to tell me, well, what do you want to put in those? And so if this is going to be my best case, I believe that's what I called this. Um, best case, maybe I can get a 3% loan and only take it out for 36 months or three years. I'll add another scenario in here. Let's call that the OK case. And just click OK. Oops. And it remembers what cells that I wanted to modify. And let's say, well, it would be OK if I did a 4% uh, at 36 months. And let's add a uh, uh, worst case. Sorry, I did click on Add. It's just mine's a little slow coming up here. There we go. Scenario, let's call the worst case. And that would be that I have to pay, uh, let's say, 6% over 60 months. So now I have three scenarios built in there. And again, I can build up to 32. And just keep adding and adding. And then I'm just going to click on Summary. And it's going to say, OK, I'm going to test those three scenarios and show you the results. What do you want me to calculate? Well, it's thankfully already identified F3, but I want to either evaluate the payment so I could find my lowest payment, or I'd want to evaluate costs. In this case, I do want to evaluate costs, so this is going to be the test. It needs to be one of your formula fields, so just make sure this is set to F3, and press OK. It's created this new tab called Scenario Summary. And let me zoom it so we can just see this a little bit better. And it ran all three scenarios, 3% 3 for 36 months, 4% for 36 months, and 6% for 60 months, and the original model, unchanged, and it comes back and shows me how much the total cost of the loan is going to be. 24,079 at 3%, 24,445 for 4% 4 at 36 months, and then at 60 months it's uh, 24,679. So from a comparison standpoint, not a lot of difference between the 3% 36 and the 4% 36. So there you go.